guys, welcome to today's lifestyle video. I'm Nadia with Arizona Home Group and welcome to Old Town Scottsdale. Welcome to Arizona's finest, Old Town Scottsdale. Where is Old Town exactly? It is located from Chaparral Road south to Osborne Road and from 68th Street East to Miller Road. Old Town is home to 15 plus outstanding resorts and hotels. There are more than 100 restaurants, bars, and nightclubs in Old Town. And the streets of Old Town are adorned with 45 or more permanent public art installations. Old Town is the beating heart of our city. It's where U.S. Army Chaplain Winfield Scott put down his farming roots in 1888 and where Scottsdale residents and businesses thrived in the decades that followed. Today, the various walkable districts of Old Town Scottsdale are hubs for the city's art, cultural scene, and nearly 100 fabulous dining and nightlife options, as well as favored shopping and lifestyle destinations. Some of Scottsdale's top attractions are the Fashion Square Mall, Museum of Contemporary Art, the Scottsdale Stadium, the Scottsdale Center of Performing Arts, Western Spirit, the Museum of the West, and the Artists' School. There are many historic sites in Old Town Scottsdale. The Little Red Schoolhouse, Old Adobe Mission, Cavalier's Blacksmith Shop, the Rusty Spur Saloon, Scottsdale Rodeo Museum are all to name a few. The Old Adobe Mission is a small white building located on the southeast corner of First Street and Brown Avenue, which was built in 1933. It's constructed of 14,000 adobe blocks that were made right on site. For many years, this was Scottsdale's only Catholic church. The Rusty Spur Saloon was once the Farmer's State Bank of Scottsdale. This building closed during the depression and opened back up, but today the building houses the Rusty Spur Saloon and the old bank vault holds liquor instead of money. Fine dining, restaurants, and nightlife in Old Town Scottsdale are unmatched. When the sun goes down, every hour is happy hour in Scottsdale. More than 100 nightlife options from sophisticated restaurants and wine bars to uber chic dance clubs can be found nestled in Old Town's walkable neighborhoods. Some favorites are Barrio Queen, Bottled Blonde, Bourbon and Bones, Cold Beers and Cheeseburgers, Craft 64, Francine, Grimaldi's Pizzeria, Hand Cut, Burgers and Chop House, The Herb Box, Maple and Ash, Mastro's, Ocean 44, Old Town Tortilla Factory, Olive and Ivy, and R&R Gastro Pub, just to name a few. Welcome to the state-of-the-art and luxurious Optima Camel View Village. This unbeatable location features a short walk to Fashion Square Mall and Scottsdale's newest, hottest dining experiences of Nobu Scottsdale, Ocean 44, Toca Madera, Francine, and so much more. Optima Camel View is a true resort-like oasis with a large fitness center, basketball and racquetball court, sauna, his and her locker rooms, and the on-site concierge is always available to help with anything you may need. There are three outdoor pools and jacuzzis, one indoor pool, a putting green, and the popular Metropolis restaurant, as well as a Pilates studio, dry cleaners, and various other small businesses on the property. These properties truly have the wow factor. Take a look at these floor to ceiling windows and all the natural light. Prices at the Camel View start at the mid 500s and they go all the way up to 3 million, depending on if you want those extravagant penthouse views. I'm here in sunny Old Town Scottsdale over at the Mission and we are going to be talking today with Chef Matt Carter. Come inside and come join us. So Matt, you've been cooking for, not to date you, over 30 years. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, I'm uh, uh, born and raised here in, in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, lived here my whole life. Um, started cooking out of high school when I was 18. Kind of fell into it, you know, just making breakfast, cooking eggs at a, at a breakfast restaurant. And then I was supposed to go to college. And I went for two days and went, I don't want to be in a classroom, get me out of here. And so I just kind of fell in love with the kitchen and food and really specifically French food in the beginning. And then over my career, I've, I've evolved into other cuisines. So you own a bunch of restaurants here in Phoenix. Do you want to kind of tell us a little bit about that and how you ended up here at the Mission? Yeah, um, so about 20 years ago, uh, my business partner Terry and Brian and I opened Zinc Bistro up in Carolyn Commons. Uh, it was my first restaurant, very classic Parisian style French bistro. So delicious um, if you haven't been there by the Yeah, way. it's phenomenal. <laughs> um, it's like you're in Paris in the middle of the desert. Um, 
Uh, and then about uh, 15 years ago, that same group of partners and I uh, decided to uh, open the Mission Restaurant where we are today. Yeah, and this place is popular. Everyone from out of state, in state, they all rush here, especially in the time frame of uh, not the summer 108 degree season. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so tell us a little bit about the mission. I know you've been working here for some time. What what makes this restaurant so unique compared to some of the others that you like? So being born and raised here, you know, I grew up on Sonoran Mexican food, which I love. I love enchiladas and burritos and chimichangos and stuff like that. But um, that's what I was familiar with, and through my culinary uh, career, I, I got in touch with uh, other cuisines from Latin America, uh, from Peru, from Argentina, Cuba. Um, and so I started making uh, uh, pork tacos at my house for friends and family and roasting whole pigs and just for fun. And, and my two business partners were like, we should open a, a taco shop. And I was like, yeah, perfect. Let's do like Mexico City, like street tacos. Yeah. because. That hadn't really become a thing yet. You know, I had traveled and spent time in Mexico City. And, and so that was kind of the, the origination of this concept. And then as we started to build it, it kind of grew like, oh, let's do a little more than pork tacos. Let, let's bring in some of the Peruvian stuff and yeah. some of the different ingredients. And it, it really opens the pantry to different products. Uh, and then just, you know, letting me kind of play with those and, and yeah. have fun with them. Absolutely. And you mentioned on Sundays you have all you can eat pork tacos. It's it's the only holdover from the original concept. Not that we don't have pork tacos in the menu because we do, uh, but on Sunday it's all you can eat uh, pork taco buffet, and we've been running that for 15 years, and it's a hit. Amazing! Yeah, I need to try that. Yeah, I need to come good. on a Sunday. I've been here other days, but not Sundays. Nice. All right, Matt. So, what should people expect when they come to the mission? Well, you know, we we've got a full experience here. You know, we're open seven days a week. Uh, lunch and dinner, and then brunch, lunch and dinner on the weekend, especially for that pig out on Sunday. Um, you know, and they're, they're both kind of different experiences. Daytime is really warm, you know, light, clean salads with, you know, chilies and, and smoked fish. Uh, and at dinner, it's, it's a party in here. We like to have fun. So you come in, you have some tableside guac, you have some tacos and handmade tortillas. Uh, we've got killer desserts. We do a uh, uh, espresso churro. Uh, we also have a pumpkin bread pudding with uh, not butterscotch sauce, we call it butterscotch, but it's actually scotch oh with some God. butter added to it. Uh, and it's really, really phenomenal. And then our cocktails, you cannot miss our cocktail list. We do all hand pressed uh, juices every single day. We'll go through 10, 12 cases of limes that we juice every single day to make our house made margaritas. Uh, my favorite drink is our Mission Sour, okay. uh, which is mezcal, pineapple, and egg white. Little off the charts. Smokiness. Yeah, a little smoky. Yeah. If, if you like mezcal, which I do. Oh, yeah. And it's the, the, you know, the pineapple counters that a little bit and get that sweetness and the egg white really mellows it out. My favorite drink. So you're in for a good time here. Yeah. Classic, classic twist on a good mezcal drink. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Matt, for sitting down with me. It was a pleasure getting to know you a little bit about the mission. I'm sure tons of our viewers are gonna be here trying all those good bites and drinks, so. Absolutely, thank you for coming. And you know, when you come to Arizona, you, you can travel the world in my restaurants. You can go to France at Zinc Bistro, you can go to Italy and Fat Ox, and you can go to Latin America at the Mission, so please. Yeah, I've got you. a lot of destinations to try, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Cheers. Thank you for joining us for today's lifestyle video. For more information on all things Scottsdale and Scottsdale Living, Feel free to give me a call at 702-686-4252 and make sure to comment, like, subscribe, and hit that notification button for more videos like these. Thank you guys. Take care.